With options for a headline and image, announcements can help your message stand out in a channel. To create an announcement, you'll need to locate the area where you start a new conversation. Directly below this, select the Format command. From the Conversation area, locate the command titled Select a Post Type. It says New Conversation next to it. Once you select this from the context menu, select Announcement. This will update the formatting options available for the announcement that you're going to create. The mouse cursor is positioned within the Type a Headline area. Let's go ahead and enter that. The background color is a light blue. This can be updated by going to and selecting Color Scheme. From this gallery, you can select a different color and see what it looks like. If you'd like, you can also include an image as the background for this title. Before we do that, let's make the team's application smaller by selecting Restore Down. Now, let's go ahead and select Background Image. You can select Upload an Image and navigate to where that file is saved that you'd like to insert from your computer. Instead, because I made this Teams application smaller and I know the photo I'd like to use is on my desktop, that's the sunrise photo here, by selecting this, dragging and dropping, I can place a copy of it as the background image. Notice there's an upper horizontal line and a lower horizontal line and the mouse cursor is indicating a two-way arrow. You can reposition the portion of the photo that you would like to have as the background for the title. What will be displayed is displayed as full color between that upper horizontal and lower horizontal lines. What is washed out outside of that will not be included. You can also zoom in or zoom out by working with the slide bar here at the bottom. Select the plus sign to zoom in and the minus sign to zoom out. You can include an additional image by selecting Upload Another Image in the upper right corner. We're going to go with just this image though. We're going to select Done in the lower right corner and that takes us back to the announcement that we're creating. Before we move on, let's go ahead and restore this back to full size, make it easier for our viewing. All right, and there is our title. Let's move on and add a subheading. Select Add a Subhead and enter the information. Next, we're going to enter the announcement. As well, you can include at mentions for people that you would like to notify and call attention to. I already have some content copied to the clipboard of this device, so I'm going to select the area and use the keyboard shortcut Control-V to include that information. Have a little typo there, let's go ahead and right click on that and from the context menu, select what we would like to update that with. All right, there are additional formatting tools that we have not worked with yet. Notice that you have some of the familiar ones that you may be familiar with in a word processor, like bold and italicize and highlight and changing the size of the font or the bullet list or the margins. So several things there you can work with. If we no longer need this announcement, select delete to discard this post. We do need this announcement and we are going to post it by coming down here to the lower right corner and selecting send. And here's what an announcement looks like within the channel posts area. Notice in the upper right corner, we have a different icon that calls attention that this is an announcement. And for everybody that is viewing this, they all have the capability to reply to this announcement. And that's how you can create and post an announcement 